Out of this new at 10 here in Chicago City Hall in Cook County, the building will be closed for security purposes for Inauguration Day. WGN's Rob Sneed is downtown tonight with more on that. Rob? In addition to City Hall and the Cook County building's closure tomorrow, there will also be lockdowns at various apartments and condos downtown. All of this to keep folks safe, but people I spoke with who live in those buildings say that they feel this is a bit much. These images of Trump supporters attacking the Capitol horrified, stunned and angered many. And right now, concerns for safety is top priority in Washington. Well, I was upset with it, of course. Who wouldn't be? They're, they're crazy to do that. You know, it's uh, I'm a Republican, but uh, I was totally against that. Chicago resident Bruce Patsy, like many of you watching, see the tens of thousands of troops on standby for tomorrow's presidential inauguration in D.C. But safety is also a priority right here in Chicago for many residential buildings downtown, including Bruce Patsy's at 530 North Lakeshore Drive. Management sent an email to residents following a security briefing. In the email, it said that the building will be locked down from 9 a.m. to 6 a.m. with extra perimeter checks from staff. Unfortunately, they have to take extreme measures because there's people that are extreme. Ryan Carr, who also lives in the building, feels this type of plan is unfortunate. It was a kind of overreaction, really, because I don't think nothing's going to go on tomorrow anyway. Yeah, because they already did their stuff in Washington, D.C., you know, so I don't think nothing's going to go down. Like apartment owners, the Chicago Office of Emergency Management and Communications is taking precautions, too. OEMC will activate the city of Chicago's Emergency Operations Center tomorrow. Officials also said City Hall and the Cook County building will be closed as a precaution. Officials with OEMC are not aware of any activity being planned in Chicago or suburban Cook County. Pacey says he's looking forward to a day when all of this will pass and people in the city and the country will unite. I hope people come together, honestly. Uh, you know, I don't always agree with the Democratic point of view, but there's things I do agree with their side, and I don't agree with all the things on the right either, you know, so I'm more of a moderate myself. And again, City Hall will be closed tomorrow, so if you need to pay a parking ticket or utility bill in person, you're going to have to wait to do that on Thursday. Reporting live in downtown Chicago, Rob Sneed, WGN News. Thanks, Rob. Tonight, from coast to coast, people on